What's up guys how are you guys doing today so today guys to be free to be different have some fun and be yourself guys but today is currently uh halloween it is saturday uh, october 31st and if you guys followed rap and hip-hop um and you would have figured out that trippy red dropped his probably his most anticipated album of his career um yesterday on october 30th and it has 26 songs on there um three songs that were already released and um one song that was kind of released before which was tr666 with sway lee and uh, um it was like released on like dsps and other like i know it was on spotify because i had it in my playlist um, it was like released, but it wasn't like unreleased, like a leak. It was released as a song. I forget what account it was connected with. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was along with um, like their couple of Chief Keef songs with Trippy Red out there. Like I Kill People and B Lap. And I think TR666 was one of those songs um, with, I'm pretty sure it's Ombre Tuchok Nation. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's when TR666 was out and that's how I finally first heard about it. But um, we're here to talk about Pegasus and um, a lot of people are hating on the album and a lot of people are hating on Trippy Red right now. Personally, I don't understand the hate because he is my favorite artist of all time and I, do, I really enjoy him and I understand why people don't would not enjoy Trippy Red like it's an acquired taste like you have to like it's just a, a type of vibe that you have to get into and um and I've and I don't know people are just I feel like they're over hating Trippy Red it is like the thing to do right now to hate on him and it's just like another artist that I don't understand why people hate on is uh, NBA Youngboy um, because I think Youngboy is a really good artist and I just, he gets way too much hate for how good of an artist he is. And per, I just don't understand the Trippy Red hate, but like, if you don't like, like, if you don't like Trippy Red, I under, I completely understand that. And like, I'm not going to like, sure, I'll defend him and stuff, but like, I'm not going to be hurt because like, that is your opinion at the end of the day that you don't like Trippy Red, but you don't have to. Like constantly go out on Twitter and like bring down an artist just because you personally don't like them and say like um, like I've seen things and it's on like Twitter and Instagram and stuff like people are saying like they're listening to Pegasus and people are saying like there are so many other things to be listening to like that's what that person wants to listen to like just let them listen to Pegasus and enjoy that because Trippy Red is an artist that they enjoy. Like, don't take that away from them. And the other thing that I understand is that TikTok uses Trippy Red a lot of the time. Like, they used him, We, like on the song We, uh, which is on Pegasus. Um, they use like 1400 Freestyle. They use Death, they use Six Kiss. Um, there are so many songs that they've used. And they, like, the trend now on TikTok is to hate on Trippy Red. But, like, about a, like, around a week ago or two weeks ago, We, the song We on Pegasus, was trending on TikTok. And now all of a sudden they have turned on Trippy Red just because it is the thing to do. And it is, it's just apparently, I don't know why, but it is, seems to be the thing to do. But now, what what do I think about Pegasus? So, I really enjoyed the album. Personally, I think it could be one of Trippy Red's best albums. 
And my favorite Trippie Red albums are, as goes, Life's a Trip, um, uh, A Love Letter to You 3, um, A Love Letter to You 4, A Love Letter to You 1, and A Love Letter to You 2. So Pegasus could be up there as a maybe bef maybe on the top three now with uh, Life's a Trip and A Love Letter to You 3. It could be even number one. It's just like, it was like, like you had to listen to the project all the way through because it like kind of told a story throughout the project and like you really don't see those type of projects anymore that like tell a story like some artists this day will just get like hits they'll try to put out hits and then they'll just make an album from those hits and based on that and like kind of just like they're like kind of like filler songs but it like Pegasus told a story throughout the whole album and um, one of the last people that kind of told a story um, throughout their album in like hip-hop I believe or like the last one that I listened to was Eternal Take where it had this like whole story through the album like you had to listen uh, the album through the whole thing and that's what Pegasus felt like and there was like the the vibe through Pegasus changed and I know Drake does this and um, I'm pretty sure he did this on Scorpion where there's like side A and side B where you like got like the, the lit songs and then you got like more like the vibe songs and other songs like that. And that's what Trippie did. He had like the vibe songs, he had like the more hype songs, he had like the layback songs, he had the love songs and it was just overall it was a really good project. I'm not going to put a um, a like an overall score on it because I think it is an infinity out of 10 and um, because honestly I just really enjoyed the project and I usually don't put like scores on an album if I vibed with the project I vibed with the project and I did vibe with this project it, I thought it was really good and I just I it was just I feel like people have like expectations in mainstream right now and Tripper and Pegasus was way different than that and it was not what the mainstream wanted to hear they wanted to hear more like lit songs and like songs like that and that's not what Pegasus was and I believe when uh, Trip at Night drops that might appeal to the more mainstream audience but Pegasus is just an acquired taste and of course people are not gonna like it and that's what that comes with every album and right now, it, on this day, it is supposed to sell 60 to 70k, but that's just first day. So, um, I don't know how many it will sell. It would be cool to see it sell over 100k units, um, because I think that would be really good. But of course, people are gonna say the album flopped just because it didn't sell over 100k, and it was like kind of like his most hyped album. But I don't know. I just feel like the Trippie Red hate is just a bit too much because he is a really good artist, and I don't know. I just I just feel like Pegasus was over hated for how good it was, and I, I just I really enjoyed the album personally, and that's uh, nobody's opinions are gonna take that away from me. And at the end of the day, I really enjoyed Pegasus, and I just like I said, yeah. I just enjoyed Pegasus, but the deluxe comes out. I don't believe it comes out November 6th. I'm pretty sure it comes out November 13th and people are saying it has 14 songs on it um, added and he trivia added um, the Pegasus sounds onto or the spooky sounds onto the Pegasus album as like an add on today and I believe that's cool because it's got like it adds like a little vibe to it and I think people are were hating on him about that as well but I really enjoyed Pegasus and it was just in my opinion could be one of Trippie Red's best albums but I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video so I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching and I do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys please subscribe to my YouTube channel turn on my post notifications and smash that like button smash <laughs> See Savage Minds. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.